Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Well, welcome back to my uh, channel. I uh, really hope you uh, liked that intro. Uh, it'll do for now, I'll say. It'll do for now. Uh, and hopefully you will like this video because the thing is, I'm trying out a new editing program. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can do this good. So, why am I recording the video? Well, this is not going to be a tutorial video. However, I will make tutorial videos in the future. This video, what I will do is basically video stream, video stream, video stream, video stream. So, I, I, I simply keep the channel going. So, I will record uh, a few videos that I will uh, schedule to come back out later during the week. That kind of stuff. That's what I want to do. So, I can get videos out during the weeks so to speak so that's what i will do and um, yeah and of course when i'm actually at the computer at home then i will uh, stream except today on tuesday but uh, tomorrow wednesday i will stream so this will be good so what are we doing today? Well, today we are flying the Tolis A321. Uh, we are flying that from Helsinki to Amsterdam today. So that is uh, what we will do. And uh, let's uh, actually check out uh, Volanta. So you can see it right here. Um, so we are right here right now and we are simply gonna fly here to Amsterdam. So uh, let's see, there we go. So this will be our flight plan. We will have a cost index of five. We will have extra fuel of uh, 3,400. Uh, 165 passengers on board. Uh, Zero fuel weight of 73.8, fuel of 17.5, and a payload of 17.6. We will uh, cruise at uh, flight level 340, uh, and if we, yeah, we can uh, take a look at the charts. Uh, actually, let's take a look at charts now. Uh, so we have the charts, hang on, here. So what I'm going to do now is, there we have Navigraph. And if we go there, we press U. And we will take off of runway 15. So... Runway 15 we got right here, so it won't be a long taxi, that's for sure. So we'll simply taxi to Yankee and then take uh, Yankee Alpha onto the runway. Uh, however, it's a pretty short runway, or it's not very short, but it's short. So we will, uh, I guess we will have a high flex, or a low flex, sorry. So yeah, that is exactly what we're doing today. And um, without uh, further ado, uh, let's get into the plane. Okay, so here we are in the uh, Tolis A321. Uh, it's completely cold and dark, as you can see. The only lights uh, that's on right now is external pay uh, power. That's extinguished because we got it available. So we press on battery one, battery two, external power. There we go. And we set you to nav, wait for you to extinguish. Or, yeah. Now we turn on number two. And there goes number three. So we check the light. And that looks pretty good to me. Something that's 
that is kind of annoying me is these lights are on. Uh, those are lights. Very bad model lights, but they do what they're supposed to do, so. Uh, so we simply turn you off. I don't like that they are on by default. I don't like that. Same with this one. And there we go. No, no lights in the cockpit. No dome lights. Um, actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to check something real quick. No? Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what we will do now... RSS will align in seven minutes. So we press U, drag you here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. No. There we go. I want. Uh, oh. Okay, I got good FPS. Uh, so now we're going to. Um, uh, set up the flight so we go to uh, in it there we go and we are flying from uh, let's see Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo so Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo slash is very important uh, Echo Echo Hotel Alpha Mike And we don't have a company route. We will be Finn 1301. It's Finnair 1301. Uh, what did we say? Cost index of 5. Cruise altitude. Oh. Oh shit. And our cruise altitude was 340. And the temperature at 340 was minus 5. There we go. Align IRSs. Now we go to flight plan. And if we now take a look at Volanta, you can find our flight plan here. That's our flight plan. So we take a look at that. And we're going to see that we will depart out of runway 15. Like so. And we will do non Nunto for Delta departure. I fucking had it. There you are. Nunto for Delta. Uh, no transition. So... Temporary insert. There we go. And from Nunto, we're taking uh, Yankee 369. Uh, Yankee 369 to Recto. Uh, so we do that. Now insert. From there we're going to direct to Demir. Uh, Demir. There we go. And from there we're actually doing airways. November 872. November 872. And we take you to Eel. Eel. There we go. And insert. And now we're going to take our rival. And we will depart at 3-6 right. 
ALS, uh, IL-1 alpha, and there we go. Insert. Now we uh, go here, we go to Tolis, open ice screen, and loading performance. And we said 165 people on board. There we go. There we go. And 17.5 in fuel. Quick refuel. And there we have it. So flat one of course. So V1 160. Uh, VR one sixty six and V two one sixty nine. Uh, flap one uh, up zero point eight. Flex temperature will be thirty five. And there we go. Now we are good to go. Pretty much. So what we do now, take you, we go to fly plan, we zoom in, so we will do a right hand turn. That looks good to me. It looks short though. Looks very short. <sighs> well, it'll be good. We'll uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on that though. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, right now we can actually turn on the APU. There we go. We turn on the fuel pumps. Oh, Nava logo light on. Wing light on. Uh, we can stand you. Says flap open. There we go. And APU is starting. Now we should have um, bleed pressure. Like that. There we go. So uh, I will, uh, I will come back to you as soon as we uh, push back. Now it's time to push back. Something that I did forget, however, to do is uh, set the uh, altimeter. So the altimeter is 1024. So we set that. And now we call for uh, pushback. And cockpit. we're gonna Please go. Show me where you want to go. Tail right. What the fuck is this southwest doing over here? Interesting. Okay. So uh, now we're simply Brown waiting. Cockpit. Toe is driving up. 
Now we're simply waiting for the pushback truck. Okay, so the tow truck is connected. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn on the beacon and we release that parking brake. Starting pushback and you may start it. That is checked. So we turn on the ignition and we start up engine number two. N2 and one is climbing as well and there she goes there we go now we'll listen to that PTU. Oh yeah. And there she goes. Okay, cool. So now we do that. We set flap one. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Set by. the auto brake to max. We can do that. And okay, so let's uh, check our flight controls. So we got uh, forward, back, right, rudder right, rudder left. There we go. Tow is disconnected and bypassed and has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see we you next time the and have check. a great flight. Check off config normal. Awesome. Now we are waiting. There we go. So now we can turn on the runway turn up and taxi lights. And there we got him. Cool. So right now, we're going to taxi. Oh, it's black. Give me a second. There we go. So right now, we're going to taxi straight ahead 
until we find Yankee and on Yankee we're gonna turn left and uh, then uh, take a right at uh, Yankee Bravo or Yankee Alpha actually I might take the Yankee Alpha just to get more straight in so to speak it doesn't help much but it will help a little bit so uh, yeah let's uh, taxi Okay, so we're coming up to our uh, left-hand turn here on Yankee. So we look to the right and there's nothing there, so we turn left. And uh, I will see you at the uh, runway end, guys. Okay, guys, we are at the runway end. So we take a good look here. And now we are going to turn on the line lights, take off, strobe is coming on. And you are going on. No, she a little too violent. That's okay. Okay. So forward on the stick and flex. Got that. Set thrust to climb. So I'm still hand flying the plane. I'm flying that cross. Flap coming up. There we go. It's kind of hard to see where the cross is, honestly. The screen is so small. And it's bright. It's very bright. And 
Yes, I'm still hand flying. Here we go. Okay, now we go to standard altimeter. As I said, I'm still hand fine this bitch. No, wait, hang on. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the autopilot here. And uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's uh, climb out. Okay, so I missed uh, 10,000 feet here, but we're good. Nothing to worry about. So we turn these off. Simple as that. And no smoking goes to auto. Perfect. So the reason I decided to actually make videos well, first of all, I, I want to be a good editor. I want to edit programs uh, or edit uh, YouTube videos. I want to. I, I, I want to do this full time, really. Um, and I'm 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 getting kind of interesting in interested in editing. Uh, so I will um, I will make videos uh, where I update you on what's going on in my life because sometimes when I'm not streaming it could be because I don't feel too well or something like that um, so kind of update you on how things are going uh, I'm very much with my uh, girlfriend who lives in the other side of the city
Uh, so basically, I live in uh, one side of Stockholm and she lives on the complete other side, almost. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I do wanna, I, I do wanna make videos um, simply for the fun of it, and I don't know, maybe like update you, a, as I said, update you about what's going on in my life, and if I can't stream, hopefully I will have a video that I can put out, that kind of stuff. That's what I wanna do. So yeah. It's getting kind of bumpy, so I think I actually want my passengers to sit down while it's this bumpy. I'm gonna let them uh, sit down until we reach um, cruising altitude. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this. We can take a look at that. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's how we're doing today. So what I will do is that I will actually come back uh, once we are closing in on our descent. So it will take uh, it will take uh, a while for me, but actually it will take uh, a little less than two hours for me. But for you, it will only take a second. So uh, yeah, keep watching and. Uh, Let's butter this landing, guys. Okay, guys. So we're cruising here at uh, 34,000 feet. Uh, and uh, we are very, very close uh, at the moment to our top of descent. So now there are a few things that we want to do. So we start by getting into the cockpit. We can see our top of descent, the down arrow there. So what we'll do now is actually for now... We can do that, that can be adjusted later. So what we will have to do now is that right now, we will first have to go to Novigov. So we go to Novigov and we open up view. And here I have the ILS chart. So we will go down to 2000 feet. So we change that in the MCP. Uh, I will use the minimum because right now we got some um, uh, MCDU stuff to do. Clear you. The next phase. Uh, and we're going to have a minimum of uh, 217. So now you know how this chart looks. We're going to do that. And we said two, one, seven. And we set you there. Now we're gonna watch uh, Active Sky for our uh, Q&H, which will be 1017. One, zero, one, seven. Uh, the temperature in Amsterdam is 11 degrees. So 11. And the winds are variable at 14 knots. So we said 000, 000, zero, 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 zero oh, slash 14. There we go. Now we got that uh, all filled in. And we are basically done for our top of descent. So yeah, it's uh, that easy flying Airbus. It's almost a little too easy. So I'm gonna make a uh, full flight tutorial of this plane, I believe, but not right now. And. I can say immediately how much they're gonna remove you. I can say immediately if you haven't understood that yet, I am not a real pilot. So all I do here is for simulation purposes only and 
not not copying real procedures or anything like that except punching in the information that has to be punched in the MCDU so I want you all to uh, remember that so yeah we're coming uh, pretty close and what we want now So I'm gonna show you when we get uh, closer. So it's it's a push and pull uh, button. So if you push the button, um, you will uh, manage the descent. But if you pull it, it manages descent on its own just like uh, Boeing so that that's good I like that so I'm gonna wait until we get a little closer say about uh, one nautical mile or so before I pull Can actually do that. So it's zoomed in here. Okay, now let's pull this. So only one dot is pulled. And you see that green right there. So it's gonna manage the descent following that green right there. Okay. So yeah, it, it isn't really that much to do, so I'll uh, I'll see you at uh, ten thousand feet, I guess. See you soon, guys. So we're coming in on ten thousand feet here. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna turn on the lights. There we go, and the plane. We're gonna have to assist the plane. So we bring out some spoilers. That's why it's vibrating. So we're gonna help the plane to slow down right now. To legal speed, so to speak. There we go, we can bring in the spoilers. We are little fast but yeah we, we will catch up it'll be good so uh, yeah we are officially on approach So uh, I'll uh, actually come back to you when I come in a little lower. Actually what we can do, we can actually uh, take a look at uh, Volanta, see exactly where we are. So as you can see we are currently flying over Lelystad. We're going to fly over uh, Amere. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. And right here we got uh, Amsterdam uh, so yeah we, we're coming in there uh, pretty quick so it should uh, be on the ground in about uh, five minutes actually I can let you follow me I, I'm not gonna say much but I can let you follow me down here 
actually. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this landing goes. Because I'm not a master when it comes to uh, Airbus, so... I hope I'm doing good. But I, I want to ask you, do you have any suggestions on where I should fly? Because if you do, I would love to hear them in comments. And I would love if you would uh, like and subscribe uh, this to my channel. I would highly appreciate it. Because the thing is, the reason I started YouTube was because I want to build a community. I want to build a community, talk to people, get to know people, share my passion of flying airplanes in a flight simulator. Because of, because of personal reasons, I'm not allowed to be a pilot myself. So if I can share my passion and fly airplanes with hundreds of people in my live stream chats that would be unbelievable for me if I could do that I got a long way to go but I have a goal and my goal for this year is that I'm gonna hit at least 500 thousand would be awesome but at least 500 and the more people that subscribes to my channel, the more people I can talk to in my live streams. And that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. So yeah, you know what to do. Subscribe, like. I would highly appreciate it. And I promise, I'm a, good, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I, I'm kind of nice to talk to. So... Well, at least I tried to be. Let's uh, get back to the sim. Can do uh, can do a little outside view. Look at this. Uh, I really have to say, I mean, default scenery doesn't look too good, but honestly, it looks way better than eleven. I have to say, honestly, looks way better than the 11. And the clouds definitely look way better. So, uh, I love this sim. I love it. What I don't like, however, is that if I go to external view, you can see the cloud ahead is bright, right? But it gets way brighter when I'm in the cockpit. I don't know, does someone know what that is and how to solve that problem? I would highly appreciate some answers to that. Okay, so what did we say the altimeter was? We said that the altimeter would be 1017. So we do that and we Lower you to 1017, like so. Because now we are getting pretty darn close. So, what we can do now is we can actually turn you on on both sides. That's important. Because right here we have the curve to our um, final approach. And if we look at the charts, Let's uh, take a look at the charts. So, when we come in to the runway, we're going to come in on um, 
uh, let's see we're gonna come in on um, uh, runway 36 right okay and we got that hang on we got that right here so when we um, get off the runway we're gonna take a left turn and we can actually aim for echo 2 I believe yeah we aim for echo 2 that would be good so what I'm gonna do now is that I will actually arm the spoilers like so and we can go medium on the brakes actually we can go low we can be nice to the brakes so yeah this will be uh, pretty good and very soon we're starting that curve down to the ILS. And now we can uh, bring out a notch of flaps. That was a 2500 call. So we do that. And we bring out a notch of flaps. Hopefully we will uh, catch up to that uh, glide slope too, but uh, it seems like we do. But now I'm going to do that. Actually, let's uh, do this. Otherwise, we're going to miss the ILS. So we have to do that. We'll be good. I can save this. Oh shit. A little too. Like a race truck. Or a race car. Still descending, that's not good. Actually, we came in way too low. So we do that. We do a go around, I think. No biggie. We just come in for another try. No biggie. There we go. Uh, hang on, why can't I? Hang on. Now I'm an idiot. Okay, so I guess I will have to go manual. Uh, so let's uh, figure out our... Um, let's... Uh, hang on. Now, now there's way too much going on here. So our miss up miss approach is two thousand. That's good. So 
So we do that, we set you to 240 and Oh. Hang on. Okay, now we're starting. Now we're starting to turn. So that's good. This is a shit go around. This might be the shittiest go around I've ever done. Too low terrain. Why are we too low terrain? Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Why are we still? No, 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 no. This is not good. Too low terrain. What the fuck is going on here? I can't Too even do a go around. There we go. This is not how you fly this plane, just so you know. I can guarantee the tutorial will be better, otherwise, nah. That there's some things I know, but I have no clue. What's going on with the gas or the thrust? It won't click. So we'll have to do uh, manual. Then I'll do metal. Sure. Um can turn you on again. I'm gonna nail this somehow. Oh. So now we basically swing it out a little bit. There we go. And now we can swing it back in. This is the part of Airbus that I don't know, by the way. I have no clue how the heck I'm doing with the speed here.
So we'll see how this approach goes. I'll simply have to wing it and do um, metal throttles here. But I bet we can make this too. Oh my god. I should have taken uh, a longer, longer uh, in-flight though. Shit. A longer um, approach, I should say. There we go. Oh, watch the speed. Let's watch the speed. So now we're on the localizer, which is a good thing. Can start to add some flaps. We can go get down. Actually, I want to do that to keep a closer eye on the speed. Okay, we're on the ILS, so we can go one more notch of flaps. Start decreasing the speed. I'm gonna get us down safely, but it will be a mission. That's for sure. So we can almost idle the thrust here. This will not be good. There we go. And now I take manual control. Come on. There we go. I hate manual thrust in Airbus. I don't know why, but I don't fancy it. Okay, let's add a little thrust. Okay, let's check the cabin. And no blue. We're high. Minimum. Landing. We're not fully stabilized, but this will do. I go manual or I go visual. Oh my god! Okay, fly that nose down. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Should have flown Boeing. Uh, I wonder if I broke the gear. 80 knots. Metal breaking. Ouch! Holy 
shit. Ah, we take the next exit. Holy shit, dude. That's going to be a fun replay. That's what they're going to be. Holy hell. Well, as I said, I am not a real world pilot. And I never intend to be. Even though I have a passion for flying. I want to learn more, for example, how you do a proper go around in the Airbus. Because uh, I did something very wrong here. Be I couldn't uh, engage uh, auto throttle. So that kind of fucked it up for me. So now the land lights are coming in. Uh, you go to taxi. Oh my god, I I'm simply gonna I'm simply gonna take a gate here. Holy hell, dude. Thank God I'm not a real world pilot. Because that was not a good landing. That was a horrible landing. I think we bounced as well. I'm pretty sure we bounced. I, I'm simply gonna, I'm just gonna take a gate here. So we turn on the APU. I'm gonna have to do a hard landing inspection here. I guarantee. Oh my god. I, I can't get over it. That was a horrible landing. It was horrible. I, I really can't get over it. That was fucked up, dude. Well, hopefully you found it entertaining. It was uh, an interesting uh, approach. For sure. So we take this gate right here. And taxi lights. Oh! Dude! Taxi lights are coming off. Strobe are definitely coming off. Oh my god. Do you want to know what funny thing is? I'm not even drunk. I don't drink myself drunk anymore. Those days are over. Okay, there we go. And I guess APU is on. It is. So we turn down engine number one and engine number two. There we go. I completely forgot the flaps and yeah. Well, that uh, will uh, do it for this uh, flight, people. So what I will do now is that I will simply leave you guys with the uh, replays. Welcome to Amsterdam. Enjoy your stay here. And hopefully I'll see you in my next stream. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, as we say, keep the blue side up. Okay, guys, I'm going to be straight with you. Uh, this seems to not be in any replay. So what I'm going to do is that I will simply end the video here. And, well, if you want to see more crazy shit, uh, make sure to like and uh, subscribe. And if you want to have a nice, friendly chat with me, 
make sure to keep an eye out for my streams so check my channel every day you should see a scheduled stream at some point i guarantee so that's what i'm gonna do uh until i hear from you again i wish you a great day and uh yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next video thank you guys